Being able to understand and internalize music through only your ear is such a great skill. In fact, you can get so good at it that you would never have to read sheet music again or even practice ever again. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds cool. All kidding aside, ear training is a fantastic skill that anyone can learn, uh, except for those who are really truly tone deaf, and for them, we salute you. When I was six, I took piano lessons for a couple years, and it was the most informative and influential training that I've ever had on my music journey. Journey, like I'm Odysseus. Our piano teacher was so good. It was me and my sister. She would give us these awesome ear training drills to understand intervals, to understand chords, to understand all sorts of things. And if I can learn it when I'm six, that means you can learn it as a 25 to 45 year old male. At least that's what the uh, analytics are telling me on my videos. To understand just the most basic and rudimentary skill, higher or lower, right? Let's just keep it like that. There's A. There's a higher A, right? It's the same note, but it's an octave higher. Right? Now we went lower. It's lower than the first note we played, right? It's an octave lower than our A. Okay, so you understand octaves, hopefully. But let's do something a little bit more difficult. Let's just do... Okay. Guess what that is? Up or down? Up. Another one. That's lower, okay? That's an E. That's an A underneath it. Okay? So, if these are too hard for you, that's good. Stop watching the video. These are the drills you're going to want to do. Go to a piano, go to whatever instrument you have, and start playing random intervals, and then write down what you did. And then you're going to play back that recording. Start with obvious ones, like if you're in a piano, lower, higher, right? Real easy, real obvious. And uh, make all sorts of intervals. It doesn't matter that you know what the interval is. It matters the direction. Is it going up? Is it going down? Start getting your brain used to that. Now we're going to talk about thirds. Thirds an important interval in Western music. And we're starting with an A again, but we're going up to a C sharp, the third. One two, three, the third note in the major scale. You can hear that, right? That sounds happy. It's uplifting. Can you hear what the third is now? If I'm just playing this note? Right? I'm going to play a note and you sing the third before I play it. We'll start off with that same note again, A. Okay, here's another. One more. Were you able to sing them? If not, great. Stop now. That's your new lesson. Take different thirds, play them on a piano or play them on a guitar. Try to hum it, try to sing it before it comes out. At the very minimum, try to hear it before it happens. Being able to hear it before it happens will then allow you to then identify it as it does happen. You'll hear, you'll go, ah, that's a third, a major third to be more exact, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Moving on, fifths, the heaviest of all intervals, at least in my opinion. Now, how is it a fifth? One, two, three, four, five. The fifth. That's a power chord, right? If you're playing a power chord. One, five. That's the sound. Same drill. I'm going to play the note. You sing the fifth. I'll do the first one with you. Did you get it? Let's do another. Another? One more.
Now, if this is too hard, great. You found out what you have to practice. Again, do a bunch of fifths, record it, play it back, sing it out. If you can't sing it out, at least just try to internalize. That's what a fifth sounds like. It's a fifth, that's a fifth. The last lesson, the difference between major and minor. Major, oh yeah, happy, uplifting, inspiring even, and minor. Sad, forlorn, moody, dramatic, major, minor. The difference between them is just one note. The third, major, minor. Okay? I'm going to play some chords. You tell me if it's major or minor. Great. How'd you do? Good? Bad? Terrible? Is it terrible? Are you doing terrible? Probably not, because I'm a good teacher. I hope this has been helpful. Training my ear during my time as a musician has been as important as any other thing that I've done, whether it's scales or understanding techniques or gear stuff. Using your ear is how you perceive music. It's how you take in music. So having your ear in a very advanced state, being able to pick out notes, pick out chords, you can learn all sorts of different things without even having an instrument in your hand. You can hear music and you can write it out in your head as it's playing. Someone starts playing a song and they need you to fill in with them. You don't need to say, oh, can you hand me the tabs? Can you hand me the chords? You'll hear it out. You'll be able to listen and change on the fly. So that's less time reading and more time focusing on playing and being a musician. Thanks again for stopping by, guys. I appreciate it. My name's Alex and I'll see you on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>